Hi, this is Cheryl back with you from Farmhouse Frugally. A number of months ago, I snapped this picture with my phone, and I would love to give credit to the person, but I can't remember whether it was Pinterest or Instagram or what. But I love this dry clay and weather barn board decor item. It is gorgeous. I have wanted to make one ever since. So I decided to give it a try, and I went to... Um, Hobby Lobby when they had their 40% off and I got the air dry clay great price there and then also I'm going to make some clay um, little molds so uh, if you do it in a mold you do need to use a little bit of cornstarch using a paintbrush you can just paint the cornstarch right in and then press the clay right into the um, little mold. You can use candy molds or any kind of mold, soap molds. Um, they also make silicone much easier to flip them out. Um, I put it onto a napkin and then I put them on a cookie sheet later. And then you can also roll it and sometimes you need to add a little bit of cornstarch to roll it. So I did roll out and cut a uh, rectangle and then found some of the more plastic feeling um, lavender and pressed it into the clay, which I absolutely loved. Then I looked around and tried to see what else I had. And so I tried a fabric flower. It really did come out pretty. I wish I had left it alone. It probably would have been all right, but I didn't think it would be detailed enough. So I ended up messing with it later. Then I found this plastic green fern looking thing. That was a little harder to press in. Maybe using a pencil or something would help. I took, this is where I messed up, I took the toothpick and went around and detailed that flower. And then here are some of the shapes that I popped out of the molds. Uh, let them dry on the cookie sheet. Now, you actually do not need to let these dry. You can actually glue these right on to your project, and I guess it's recommended to do that before they dry um, using a tight bond glue. Now, I did let them dry overnight because I wasn't sure what color they were going to dry and if I was going to want to do anything else to them. So, I didn't love, they weren't quite as white as the dupe. So I took my chalk paint and I went ahead and painted them. And then I took the antique, antiquing wax and a stiff brush. And before I went in and did that, I actually used the wax on my cabinet drawer front that I'm going to use as the back of my project. And then I went ahead and used the antiquing wax in the detail part of the flower, giving them a dry brush antique look. Then when everything was dry, I took the tight bond and I had not used the wax in the area of the front of the drawer um, so that I would be able to glue these right on. So I went ahead and I glued them to the front and I think they came out pretty cute, but honestly nowhere near as nice as the dupe. But I am going to try again, especially once I can find a weathered piece of barn board. So hopefully you like this. If you do, give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Thanks for stopping by.